Hello, I'm Jerry McCarr from Intel, and I'm here to tell you about the latest Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer news and updates in the 2020.3 release. Expect to see new features in Graphics Frame Analyzer, Graphics Trace Analyzer, System Analyzer, as well as added support for the recently announced 11th Gen Intel Core processors with Intel Iris XE Graphics and expanded features in the Intel GPA framework. The 2020.3 release includes visualization of synchronization primitives in Graphics Trace Analyzer, increased granularity of CPU counters in System Analyzer, and command Q debug regions for multi-frame analysis in Graphics Frame Analyzer. For our first update, in Graphics Trace Analyzer, you can now visualize coordination of synchronization primitives. We've enabled visualization of GPU synchronization, GPU to CPU synchronization, and CPU synchronization for enhanced profiling of CPU bound applications. The next part of this update is GPU to GPU synchronization. First, while a trace capture is open in Graphics Trace Analyzer, you can visualize GPU synchronization by selecting a weight package from the device context queue, and the corresponding signal package from another device context queue will be selected as well. The next part of the update is the GPU to CPU synchronization, which will be further enhanced in our next release. Currently, selecting a signal call from the device context queue will cause the corresponding weight call in a CPU thread to be automatically highlighted. The third part of update 1 is CPU synchronization, which can be visualized by selecting a wait for single object call or wait for multiple objects call in one of the application's CPU threads, and the corresponding set event call in a different CPU thread will be selected as well. For our second update, in System Analyzer, we significantly increase the granularity and quality of CPU counters for Intel hardware, transitioning from a Windows-based collection system to an Intel-based collection system. This enables System Analyzer to now collect increased samples every second for detailed analysis to determine whether your application is CPU or GPU bound. For our third update, in Graphics Frame Analyzer we added command queues along with debug region for those command queues while performing multi-frame analysis for DirectX 12 applications. After opening a stream capture file in Graphics Frame Analyzer, you can view the different command queues on the left-hand side of the tool. Each queue has a different icon corresponding to the queue type. You may not see all queues in all captures, only those queues that are relevant to your particular capture will appear. You will see one or more of the render queues, otherwise known as the direct queue, the compute queue, and the copy queue. Each queue can be visualized in the timeline of the graphics frame analyzer. Additionally, our team has continued to add and expand features in the Intel GPA framework that includes, but is not limited to, DirectX 12 variable rate shading tier two, an alpha version of ray tracing for DirectX applications, and expanded support for Vulkan Deferred Capture in Unity and Unreal based workloads. Thank you for watching. For more information about the Intel GPA 2020.3 release and to download Intel GPA for free, see the links in the description below. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel for more exciting Intel GPA news and updates.